sexual genders. I'm only rocking with Bruce, don't rock with no Caitlyn Jenner. You think that gay shit gon' get you paid? Yeah, we gon' see. It's my alarm, it's one, it's one, if we trumpin', baby. They put a target on my back, but they're targeting your kids. They don't even need to ask, cause you all know what it is. Yeah, that's why I keep a strap, and I'm always by my best. This agenda gotta stop. Yeah, you know we gonna win when they. What's going on, everyone? Sauce with Kenny here today, and hey, that hey. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that song was a banger. I had to put it as an intro. And I just wanted to make this point about, like, you know, it's Pride Month. You know, it's June 1st, right? We're gonna hear everything under the sun about LGBTQ, whatever, right? And I kind of want to talk about this opinion piece that I found is how a single can of beer woke America up to wokeness, essentially, right? And Anheuser-Busch said it best in its letter directed towards customers and distributors. This was one single can given to one social media influencer, the letter said, and it was not made for production or sales to the general public. This can is not a formal campaign or advertisement, even though you sent him a bunch of stuff. He had affiliate links. He was pushing people to go drink the beer. And this all happened when? I believe in the beginning of May, right? And it's crazy. In this crazy world where things go at the speed of light, this story, as the phrase goes, had legs. By the middle of May, Bud Light was still feeling the heavy pain of the marketing disasters, which was got to knock the new Coke campaign uh, out of the top slot. Sales by volume went down 29.5% for the week ending in May 20th compared to last year. And total sales are down 225. Sorry, I said 200. Total sales are down 25.7% for the revenue compared to the same time window. Mm. Check out this clip from Tim Pool because apparently Bud Light lost his number one status as the top be selling beer in America. Let's take a look. But it is still extremely bad for Anheuser-Busch for two reasons. First, the destruction, the absolute evisceration of their brand because they played the silly game and got woke and went broke. They could have just apologized. We begged. But like we begged you, just say you're sorry. Just say, look, we 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 didn't we we will never do this again. We didn't realize this individual was so divisive. They couldn't do it. They tried pulling every gimmick in the book out, and it didn't work. They were scared they were going to offend LGBTQ people. I suppose they're still sponsoring these events. Bud Light still sponsors Pride events. They have made their bed and destroyed their brand. This is going to go down in market history. When you've got someone going to college and they're learning about marketing, they're going to say, let's talk about the Bud Light effect and how you can completely rip your brand to shreds overnight. Just destroy what was the biggest beer in the country. Hey, go, we'll go broke. Like at what cost? Like it tell, I'm telling you. Like if pe like people can demand the change, people can will power, but we have to do it essentially in unity, right, to rebuke this stuff. And it seems like that ESG fund money, I, I don't know what, I don't know if it's addicting for these corporations, but they're willing to lose top sales spot, even though, yeah, the other brand is a, a, is another Anaheiser Bush product, that still hurts Bird Light as a product, uh, as a brand. This brand, like, that's a warning to any other company, hey, let's not play with fire. Because we're going to get burned. And sometimes companies need to learn. Like you have to make an example out of one. And that's what I was trying to say earlier on when this stuff was starting. Conservatives or people who are not, who just not woke. Because non-woke people is not synonymous with conservatives. I don't know why the left-wing media keeps saying that. That, oh, uh, right-wingers are mad over this. No, it's not right-wingers. It's just people who don't want to be preached this nonsense. Instead, especially these theories that's not grounded in any reality. But, hey, you know. I digress. And you guys already know uh, the article is going to continue talking about how they alienated uh, traditionally blue collar uh, workers part by bartering with Dylan, how they never uh, how this analyst called. I'm sorry, I got to show you the screen. Bruce Springsteen. He's never understood why actors or musicians play politics, when, whose base of fans is more blue collar than Bud Light drinkers, even it comes out in support of Hillary Clinton, as he did in 2016. Why alienate half of America and in, Bur in Bush's, uh, sorry, in Bruce's case, a majority of your fans? 
but it won't stop tomorrow, which is June 1st, which is going to be today, is the beginning of Pride Month in which all 320 million Americans are supposed to contemplate all things gay, plus those 81 genders out there too. Companies will be falling all over themselves to show how truly and deeply tolerant they are. Que lindo. Right? So, here's the main event you guys came for. Boycott Target. Now, this song, I'm a little late. I, this article is a little late, but at the time of recording this video, I believe this song got to the number one charts in iTunes, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, you guys will correct me in the comment section. But uh, what's the name? Fro Frogato Blow? Yo, the, the song kind of sound hard. I ain't going to lie to you guys. This is where I got the... Tw uh, you guys can probably find him on Twitter. Right? Not Twitter. I'm sorry. You could probably find his video on YouTube somewhere. But I, I kind of wanted to get like the impact of this boycott because... This is how you affect culture. This is how you you, be, you you make your voices known. It becomes a cultural movement to the point where now people want to jump along and they're making rap songs about boycotting the store. Imagine that. <laughs> Only in America. <laughs> Target shares prices plunge for the longest streak in almost five years. By the end of the, of the day, Tuesday, the plummet in Target share prices reached the longest losing streak the chain has suffered in almost five years. Imagine that. Target share prices have fallen for eight straight days, plunging another 3.66% on Tuesday, reaching $1.33.88 uh, as the store has lost a staggering $12 billion. Now I heard some cases, some say 15. I'm just going on with this Daily Wire report. $12 billion in market value in the last 14 days to the rest at $61 billion in the wake of a consumer boycott triggered by its LGBTQ merchandise. Right? And I don't understand why all, all these companies keep going along with this stuff. Well, and I remember there was videos out there of the Target's uh, diversity chief officer saying that the hardest thing to be in this world is black. I don't know about all that now. Maybe she, she has a personal hard life and she's trying to project on her skin color. I don't know what these people nowadays. I can't really relate to them. But I have some unfortunate news, at least for me. I guess I could finally participate in a boycott because Chick-fil-A apparently is getting heat over uh, DEI. They recently, uh, Chick Fil A has hired a DEI officer, right? But they say Chick Fil A has had a DEI officer since 2020. The company proposed, uh, also note glorifying God. Now, like the other things, I don't think they have gone uh, essentially woke. I don't know what's the play here with Chick Fil A. Like they're a privately owned company. I don't know if they're vying for some private equity funding and maybe an equity funder wanted them to have a DEI or whatever because and day this is a oh. yeah sorry about that anyway and anyway this is just a like a standard game that these all these companies are playing and i'm starting to get tired of it now this is late this is just like the middle light commercial like what happened with the middle light feminist commercial this been happened they've been had this since 2020 and just now you know people digging it up and saying, oh let's boycott chick-fil-a and i'm like saying ain't so chick-fil-a saying ain't so i don't think people are gonna boycott chick-fil-a I, I i doubt it i don't know i'm starting to think all this other stuff is a distraction look the past is the past 2020 i don't know actually i don't know what do you guys think do you think you guys think the chick-fil-a boycott will have any legs i think it's just too many targets at this point like i just think it, it's starting to become divide divide and conquer bro it's going to be a point where like we're just going to have a stack full of caches in our pocket because we got nowhere to go but hey i digress let me know your thoughts in the comment section uh let me know what i missed i probably missed some other boycotts going on i don't know it's, it's so many boycotts at this point I don't, I don't even know where to look at look for anymore but hey i digress let me know your thoughts thanks for watching to the end of the video and i'll catch you guys on the next one don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next video peace